Hey everybody, today we're gonna go through a quick multi-pass series in creating your own social media app where there are the where the user can create their own posts. In addition, follow and unfollow users and block and unblock users. In addition, we can see the user's historical posts. In addition, who are their followers and who they're following. And the users that have been followed, their posts will go into a special filter view where you can easily identify who the people you're following are posting about. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe to keep updated on the series and let's get started. So let's get started. Uh, I'll quickly walk through the Firebase setup. I've just connected a, I've done, I've done all the connections uh, to the Firebase backend. In addition, I have enabled authentication. It's going to be a login page and a home page, which is the feed. Um, in terms of the schemas, the database structure, uh, we've got the default user schema plus four extra fields. So blocked users, blocked by, following and followed by. These are all lists of document references to users. Block users means who is this user blocking? Blocked by is who has blocked this user? Following is related to this user. Who are the other users they follow? In addition, followed by is a reverse. What other users are following this specific user? In terms of the post schema, we have very basic structure. It's gonna be user reference, who created the post, post text, and a credit date time. From a UI perspective, there's of course the feed, the home page that gets shown when you log in. There's gonna be an all tab and a following tab. The all tab will show all posts by all users. Following will show um, the posts by users that you're following. When a user clicks into a you know, profile, they can see the detailed profile of the other person. We show a profile photo, um, a name, you know, some actions to follow and unfollow, to block and unblock. And the detail of this person will also include their historical posts, uh, who are their followers, in addition, who are they following. Finally, in the feed, there's actually a fab, which allows the user to submit a new post. Um, which is basically, you know, simply a text box and a button to um, submit the post, i.e. creating the document in the back end. So let's get started on configuring the front end. Do you know that this is good? This is not a design course as everything in terms of design and app design specific to your app will be very to personal to your needs. So a lot of it will focus on making sure the right configuration, the back end, to make sure your app is working. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content on Flutterflow. So the first thing we want to configure is this add button. So the add button, we want to show the bottom sheet of new post. So let's configure that. So let's create a action. And this action will be a bottom sheet. I want to show the bottom sheet of new post. Um, no need to pass anything, we're just going to show it. Now let's go to new post. Uh, the user will type something here and we, there's a post button which basically creates the document. So let's make something very basic where we're just going to have action where the action is create document. Here we're creating a document in the post document because we are creating a new post. So the user reference is going to be the authenticator's user reference. So who is the person creating the post, which is basically the logged in person. The post text, we're going to grab it from that text box, which is in widget state, text field, and the credit date time. So very easy, just do credit, create a time. Perfect. And once they, once it's created, we're gonna dismiss. We're gonna dismiss the bottom sheet, so hide it. Because we don't need to show the bottom sheet anymore. Okay, let's configure the feed page. So what I wanna do here is something different. I'm not gonna generate um, 
I'm not going to do a backend query on this column because the reason why I'm doing this is because we have to later incorporate um, blocked users and they shouldn't blocked by users to hide posts. So I'm not going to do it in the backend query because there's actually a limitation of ins and not ins um, due to Firebase limitation. So what I want to do here is actually do the query of post in a widget. So I'm going to wrap this in a widget firstly, and then I'm going to do a backend query, query collection, post. It's going to be a list of document, and I'm not going to do any filters. Let's just quickly order by post date from descending. So it'll be recent, recent post first, and oldest post last. Next, what I want to do here is actually generate the children based on what we have just queried in posts. So we'll do this. Let's call this post all post lists. Click that. Now this container. Um, let's configure this container. So what I what we need to do here is um, let me just shrink this name to maybe twelve. Let's now we're going to grab some user information to populate the name and the image based on the user reference of the post because the post doesn't contain the name um, of the user, for example, the display name or the email and um, the photo, this, uh, the photo URL here. After we've generated dynamic children, let's do a background query on the container itself. So it's going to be container, query collection, sorry, document from reference, users. We here we're looking for the specific user. So it's going to be all post list items, user ref. Next, let's set the image. So the image is going to be of path, user document, photo URL. The name is going to be similarly, the user's document, display name. Next, the text is going to be from the post itself. So it's not post document, but all post list item, which is where the children is being generated. It's going to be of post text. And similarly, the date time will be here, will be contained here. Create a date time. Let's make it something basic. Date time format. I'm going to press relative. So how approximately how long ago was it? Pretty basic, pretty easy. That's good. Let's quickly test this out. So I've loaded the app already. So I'm gonna press post. So we'll fix this later in terms of shrinking it nicer, but let's write something. Hello world, press post. Lovely, hello world is showing. I don't have a profile photo or display name. So in the back end, but let me just quickly configure that. So I've just quickly added in the back end, um, just the name in addition to a photo. So here, the account's name is called Butter the Corgi and you know, a photo of a corgi. And he said, hello world. So we can post more, but I just won't post it anymore. Um, so that's pretty simple in terms of adding a new post um, in addition to posting it. So let us let me quickly fix this bottom sheet. So it is a bottom sheet. Let's, let's uh, create a close button. So let's quickly do this. Let's add another row at the top. Uh, let's add icon. Icon will be a close icon. Maybe not an icon button because I'm never a fan of them. Let's add an icon. And the icon will be a close icon. So X marks the spots. Here, I'm gonna align it to the left, to the right, sorry, and then the action for this, I'm going to dismiss the bottom sheet. Easy. So in terms of the size of it, I want to maybe I'll just hide code it to a certain height of 400. And then maybe I change this text field to yeah max eight line min three. That's okay. In addition, I'm going to shrink this main axis to this to minimum. Maybe actually instead of setting fixed height, I'm going to go 
let it change based on the minimal column that we need. Okay, let's test this. So this looks pretty good where the bottom sheet is at the bottom and there's a crossword which, which dismisses the bottom sheet. We can write hello well bark bark bark. Maybe you just do more of that. Press post. There you go. Bark 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 bark. That's what Butter the Corgi said. Uh, cool. So this is how you configure um, the feed, the home feed, in addition to adding a new post. In the next lesson, we will cover configuring the profiles detail page for other users. In addition, the ability to follow and unfollow, block and unblock a user. Remember to comment, like or subscribe to keep updated on this series.